Jenga! Hey everyone, today we're here at Comic Con LA. And today I'm here with... Ellen Stern. So tell me, what are you most excited for for Comic Con 2021? I'm so excited that this is brand new in us coming back after two years of being down from COVID. And most of the people seem to be really compliant and, and eager to get back. And it's wonderful to see everybody. It's been a while since it's happened, you know, two years. And it's so wonderful to see everybody. So, do you have any memorable moments that's happened on set? Since you are an amazing voice actor, do you have any memorable moments during your career? Uh, I don't know whether you want to hear them. <laughs> One time, uh, I was I was directing and voicing. Uh, this goes back to Samurai X, and I walk in, and the air conditioner was off, and it was a very hot day, and I walk in. And the guy who was directing and voicing was down to his underwear. And I, I didn't know how to rea react to that. So, um, uh, Hot day, isn't it? I just wait till he, I waited till he finished. And then I said, please don't offend my eyes. <laughs> I cannot unremember that moment. <laughs> So do you have any tips for anyone going into voice acting? Yes, absolutely. If you want to go into voice acting, learn to be an actor first. Oh, I got that. Because if you're not an actor, you don't know how to craft a character. And voice acting is more than just doing a voice. It's not finding a silly voice. It's not finding uh, imitating somebody else. It's about personalizing it. And if you think of the characters that you relate to the most, those are done by people who are acting. And when I do each of the characters, I am acting. I am not just doing a voice. And I find, I find the arc of the character. It's kind of like a play. Even if you have two birds chirping in a tree, what is their purpose for being there? Are they sad? Are they happy? Are they there to lend joy to the scene? And even if they're there to lend joy to the scene, what kind of nuance can you bring to the birds to show, to show specificity? And it's the specificity and the personalization of all these details that make the voice richer. Honestly, amazing tips. Thank you. Well, I have one question. Since everyone knows that you voice Agatha, which by the way, was one of the scariest Elite <laughs> Four members I fought. Oh, I did not have a good time. Tell me, like, what's your favorite Pokemon out of all of them currently right now? Well, I have to say, I'm partial to Pokemon Generations because not only did I voice Agatha, but I directed the series. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I direct also in addition to voicing. So I directed it and, and uh, I really got to know Pokemon from doing it because Generations is a splattering of all the Pokemon. Yeah. So it was wonderful, and it was great fun. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for letting me interview. Thank you, Oscar. It's a pleasure meeting a you. A pleasure meeting you as well. Yeah.